would Godsmack sound like without Sully Erna on vocals? Well, the hypothetical has turned into reality with the group Another Animal. The band features all the current members of Godsmack, Tony Rombola, Robbie Merrill, and Shannon Larkin, and also included is former Godsmack and Dropbox member Lee Richards. Fronting the band, but not really taking Erna's place, is ex-Ugly Kid Joe singer Whitfield Crane, and they're currently touring with Alter Bridge in support of their self-titled debut. We spoke with Larkin and Crane recently in New York, and they told us that Erna wasn't initially too keen on the idea. At the end of the day, Sully came to us and said, guys, you know, in, keep in mind, in the meantime, we'd gotten the Another Animal thing together, and it, it really rubbed him the wrong way at first, and he felt like it was egg on his face and that we were saying, you know, uh, trying to make some kind of statement, which, which was totally incorrect. And, you know, we, so we sat down in a room, as brothers do, and we talked it all out, man. And, and uh, the last thing that I heard from Sully was uh, he had heard us on the radio and he told me that he was filled with pride when he heard it and, and he wished me best of luck. Larkin talked about why another animal made sense both for the band and for Erna. Um, he, he has been the, the creative and, and the workhorse behind the whole Godsmack thing from day one all the way up to now, see? And he's been going straight for 10 years strong now. So when he came to us also, he was like, I, I, I need to take some time off. And he goes, I need a couple of years off, guys. So we were like, well, then this is perfect timing for uh, us to do another animal, you know? So it all ended, thank God, in, in a very positive way. Another animal originally started during Godsmack's tour with Metallica when the Godsmack members would jam with members of Dropbox. The project gained more momentum during the writing of Godsmack 4. You know, on the four session, Sully got into a dark place and, and just quit coming around. You know, so we, we, to answer the question, Tony and I finally clicked musically together. And so I'm telling you, we were busting out at least a song a day, sometimes two in one day, and, and arranging fully, you know, full on writing these songs. So we just had so much good material that we, we, couldn't, we couldn't let a song like Before the Fall or, or, or Amends, you know, go to the wayside. You know, when, when the last song that, that, that Tony and I had written together for Godsmack, Speak, was the, no, the only single on the record that went straight to number one and stayed there for 12 weeks. So, you know, we realized that we have something magic going on and there was no way we were gonna just let these songs go to the wayside and never be heard. Yeah.